Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for today, we have the unboxing of the RTX 4070 Super Founders Edition. And by the way, I want to thank NVIDIA for sending this card, really. Thank you for sending the RTX 4070 Super. This is one of the cards that I wanted to buy in order to bring you some tests. And for now, I know that you've watched the, the previous 4080 Super unboxing and I can tell you right away that the tests that I do for GPU comparisons are already done with the, 40, with the 4080 Super, sorry and the 4070 Super will follow. Also, the 4080 Super is now testing for 40 games, like this, X4, 40 games at 4K with the usual settings like uh, the LSS included, in this case, uh, frame generation as well, and some other settings in between, like ray tracing and so on. And after that, immediately after that, I'll bring you also 40 games at 1440p on that same card. Also, we'll bring you the comparisons in between the 4080 Super and the 7900 XTX as well, and way more things will come. For example, the next video will be the Radeon 780M, basically the 8700G APU, tested with several RAM frequencies, starting with 6000, then 6400, then 7000, I believe, no, 7200 MHz, 7600 MHz, and 8000 MHz, using both 6400 MHz and 8000 MHz tweaked as well with improved sub-timings in order for you to see how much you can get from the integrated graphics. But well, let's go to the unboxing, thanks to NVIDIA and to the sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So now on the unboxing part, we're back with the RTX 4070 Super. So before we had the 4080 Super, and now we have the 4070 Super that came in the same uh, in the same package as well. Now. I can tell you already that the, the box is much lighter than the 4080 Super because, of course, the card is also smaller, um, thinner, so it won't be as heavy as the other one. But the, the other one, really, the box was really heavy. So let's go to the front. To the front, this is the Founders Edition, so it is basically the same as we saw before. It says NVIDIA, then the GeForce RTX 4070 Super, and that's basically everything that we have in the front. It looks really, really great if you ask me, so that's what we get here. Now, uh, on the top, we have the symbol of the, <laughs> of basically the um, hourglass symbol. Yes, I went to Google to search for it. But anyway, the hourglass, which is basically also the, the Ampere symbol. And it is slightly different here, so it is slightly thinner on the box as well compared to the 4081, which is a nice touch in my opinion. As for the, the bottom, we have basically nothing. And as for the back, we have what we had before with the 4080, which is basically several several languages, the support and warranty in several languages, I believe, the website in several languages, so Deutschland, Spain, Poland, Russia, and so on, then another barcodes, and then we have the system specifications once again, with PCI Express graphics slot required, blah, 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 what it brings in the box, which is basically the same as the 4080 Super, with a GeForce RTX 4070 Super, the PCI Gen 5 power connection adapter, and the quick start guide. And by the way, uh, the 4070 does not feature the PCI the PCIe Gen 5 connector. It still brings the usual power cable connections with eight pins each. Um, but the 4070 Super brings a newer connector, and that's basically one of the differences that we have here. On the sides, like I showed you before with the 4080, well, it looks great. It is a very nice design. You can see, for example, here, and you can see the part where the where the card or the um, the guide kicks in. It stays there, so it's very nice. Uh, and what we basically need to do here is to go and, yeah, and to remove the tape. That's what we have to do. And now opening the box, we have the same we had before. Yeah, it looks great. The box itself looks great. It is very, very well built, like tough, rigid. And I know that the box doesn't really matter for the card's performance, but it is a very nice touch to have. And it looks cool. It looks cool as hell in your, uh, maybe in your desk, in your, in your shelf. It just looks great. Uh, as for the 4070 Super, yes, I can already look at it and it is much, but 
I put really a big match on this, much smaller than the 4080. Yeah, it looks good, definitely. It still looks good, but it's like half the 4080. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This card is really, really small compared to the 4080 Super. The 4080 Super was a monster, a really, really heavy card, much wider than this one, much thicker, and the length is not even comparable. I mean, the card looks great, once again, but it is entirely different from the 4080 Super. Not even joking. But well, before going to the card, once again, let's see what we have here. So basically, these are the power connections only. We have a quick guide that comes inside. Yes, the quick guide that comes inside of the box of the power connections. Once again, if you don't know how to connect your, your car to your computer, it says that you have to connect your car to your motherboard. Then um, you need to connect the power cables and then you need to connect your monitor to the, um, the display connection on the GPU because some people still connect the, um, even though they have a GPU, they connect the, um, the power, or in this case, the display cable to the motherboard. That happens more than people think. And now we have the power connections. In this case, instead of having three, like with the 4070 Ti, for example, and um, the 4080 Super, we now have only two connections. So the PCI, the PCIe Gen 5 that we have here, and then we have the power connections, two times eight power connections. Basically, this is the adapter. Now going back to the GPU, well, we have the usual Founders Edition design from NVIDIA, which has the heatsink on one side, basically the, the fan, heatsink only, and the fan, that's what we get here. And on the side we have, um, like I told you before, we have the connector because of this. This is the PCIe Gen 5 uh, connector, power connector. Once again, this usually brings some meltdowns and some connectors having problems with temperatures and so on, but this is mostly to the high power draw GPUs like the 4080 Super, 4080, especially the 4080 since it consumes more than the 4080 Super because the 4080 Super uh, is built using four nanometers, lithography, and the 4090 that, well, consumes a lot more power. So that's mostly for those cards. These ones are safe. For example, even my 4070 Ti never had any kind of issues there. So won't be a problem at all. As for the top part, we have it saying 4070 Super, which is also a nice touch. Look at this. It is hard to see on camera, but you can see it. So basically the design is the same with, uh, with the back plate here and uh, the fan and the other side has full heat sink and the fan as well. One fan on one side, one fan on the other and usual as usual we have G GeForce RTX here. Now I don't really know that if the GeForce RTX here will have LEDs. I need to test, I need to put it on, on the computer and see. But the, the, the RTX 4080 Super does have LEDs on this part. But I don't think it has LEDs here because it doesn't have depth, the letters have no depth, but I have to confirm, yeah. Now as for the size comparison, well, before you saw that the 4080 Super was massively bigger than the 7900 XTX, but I, I really mean it, massively. Now this time we have the 7900 XTX, we have the 7800 XT and the RTX 4070 Super. You can see that the 4070 Super resembles way more in terms of size to the 7800 XT than the 7900 XT. And once again, while these two are very close uh, in terms of size, weight and so on, the 7900 XT reference was much smaller compared to the 4080 Super reference. So. Uh, it seems that in terms of the 4070 and below, the reference versions are more on par AMD versus NVIDIA in terms of size, but as soon as you go to the bigger cards, the reference version is much bigger on the NVIDIA side. Now, one thing that we have good uh, on, the RTX, um, on the RTX 4070 Super, or for example, all these cards, is that they fit in almost every single build while in other scenarios with other cards, since they are way bigger, like the 4080 Super, since it is way bigger, it might not fit in every single case, PC case that you throw it at. So that's a bummer for people that just want to build really, really small computers. Then these cards, the RTX 4070, the RX 7800 XT, or even the 7900 XTX reference are great. The 7800 XT is slightly more thicker, not more thicker, it's slightly th slightly thicker, sorry, but the difference is really, really, really small. And even in terms of width and depth, they are more or less the same. So as you see, it's more or less the same once again, although, uh, the NVIDIA card does have slightly bigger fans, maybe like 10 millimeters more, but around it, it's around the same in terms, once again, uh, in terms of length, width, and even weight. 
Yeah, even weight they are more or less the same. If you compare though to the 7900 XTX, well the difference is there, but I mean it has to be. They, they are on completely different leagues, but this is just for a matter of perspective. The 7900 XT is a bit thicker, and in terms of weight, well, it is way, way heavier than the RTX 4070 Super and the 7800 XT. Overall, great looking card, like almost all Founders Edition are. And as you saw, the RTX 4070 Super Founders Edition is a really, really compact card. I compared the sizes as you saw some minutes ago. I compared the sizes of the, um, of the 7800 XT, 4070 Super and the 7900 XTX. And I even have the, the Gigabyte one, the, the Gigabyte model for the 4070 that is also a very good model and actually surprised me as you can see in this video. And I can tell you right away that in terms of build quality, in terms of the materials, in terms of the feeling that you have when touching the card, the card feels amazing. The card is very, very high quality in terms of building and once again, even in terms of performance, and even in terms of performance and in terms of thermals, it will just work perfectly. It won't have any issues in terms of thermals or noise. The card is actually pretty silent and the temperatures are very, very controlled. So once again, this card is very, very nice. One thing that I talked about across the video um, was the LEDs on the GeForce RTX letters and we don't have those on the 4070 Super. It is still a card costing around 700, 600 and something euros. So it is still a pretty expensive card. So I would like to have those LEDs on the Founder Edition and I would like to have those. It could be only white LEDs. It didn't it didn't have to be RGB, just white LEDs like the 4080 Super, at least on the GeForce RTX letters, and it would look much better, much, much better. Still, it looks great, I can't really complain. The card looks great, performs great, and gladly the 4070 Super prices are getting down and down. And if you don't really know, the 4070 Super performs really close to the 4070 Ti and is much cheaper. Both the 4070 Super and 4070 Ti are also, of course, getting their price, their prices reduced. Um, and that's a good sign because people will finally be able to buy the RTX 4070 Super if they want to. But once again, if you are able to find one of these RTX 4070 Super models, the Founders Edition, just do it. The card is really, really well made. Once again, it looks great, feels great. It is silent. Temperature wise, thermally wise, it is great as well. I mean, I have no complaints here. Maybe the only complaint, exactly, the only com complaint is not having the, the LEDs, the white LEDs on the GeForce RTX letters, but that's kind of more a uh, personal choice because for some people it might be a downside, but for others it might be an upside. So that's dependent on your opinion. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks NVIDIA for sending the card and guys, more tests will come. Next video will be AMD sided once again. And don't worry because more tests will come. More really interesting tests. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys.